who does not love a good 22 long rifle? Now, as far as I'm concerned, this should be everybody's first gun. The 22 long rifle is such a versatile round and has been around a really long time. Now you can find 22s in just about every way imaginable from, you know, the really old bolt action to the pump, to the lever action, to AR and other modern platforms, semi-auto, you know, two of the old school designs that really caught my attention the last gun show I was at was the Rossi pump and the lever action. Now, I've never owned either one and was curious how they would compare and perform. You know, not so much accuracy because really I think they've got probably the exact same barrel, but more functionality and especially speed. How fast can I get them off accurately with the pump versus the lever action? Let's check them out and find out for ourselves. I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion and it is what it is. Now when we look at these particular guns, they are very, very similar other than the action. Let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech. Okay, identical and almost every way other than action my big question is how do they perform and which of these is going to be faster in my hands let's find out okay to keep it simple we're just going to use the same ammo both of them uh we'll do the best that we can to time it you know it should hopefully be evident which one is faster might try some different targets yeah we got enough ammo here that we should be able to figure this out Okay, the easiest way to load both of these is just simply pull this out and then take your 22 shells and just drop them in. Okay, it's getting kind of late in the day. My other glasses are getting a little too dark here. Um, you know, we'll just start uh, at the one back there. That's you know, probably 20, 25 yards. These are straight out of the box, have not fired, have not adjusted sights, have not done a single thing with them. Let's see what we can do here. It's not super smooth and fast. It, it, it kind of got a pull on it. I wonder if I put a little oil in there or something and kind of slicked that up. I might try that. Let's try the lever action. Okay, we're gonna go lever action here. See if, uh, see if I can do that just as fast. Actually, that surprised me. Um, I really thought the pump was going to be a lot faster. Let's try that again. Actually, I wanna, I'm going to run back to the house real quick. I'm going to put a little oil on that pump, on that action, and see if that smooths that out. That could make a big difference, but uh, I really was surprised how fast I could get those off with the lever. Okay, what I did was I put just, just a little bit of oil right here where it goes down in. And then I turned it upside down and I put just a little bit of oil right there where the action is and it's moving. Let's see if that helps. Try this again. Hey folks, if you're enjoying this review, do you follow my channel? Would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing, not a zip, zero? Hit that subscribe button. That does as much as anything, so hit that button. 
I just got a new web page, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. Ah. Yeah, light primer strike. Hate that. Another light primer strike. This one's having some light primer strikes. Not sure what's up with that. Uh, that did seem faster. The light primer strikes just totally torched my rhythm. I want to try it again. This one seems to be having light primer strikes. Okay, I got my lever here. I'm gonna reach down to the one that's on the far right for me. I need to adjust the aim just a bit. Okay, so I brought the back sight down. That should hopefully elevate that and get all these on target. Let's give it a go. Let's try the pump. Okay, so we got the pump here. Same thing, let's give her a go. I think the pump, I think the pump is definitely faster. I'll see if I've got enough rounds to try one more okay, time. Got another 10 with the lever and then we'll do another 10 with the pump. Now before I forget, you know, either one of these is actually a perfect first gun for a young shooter, you know, not that you can't go a semi-auto, but it's kind of old school. They get the basics down. You don't have quite the ability to have an accident like with a semi-auto. I mean, you got to have some action to eject and then chamber again. Anyway, let's see how fast we can go here with the lever action. For some reason, I'm having, I think, some accuracy issues with this lever action. Wouldn't have anything to do, I don't think, with the lever so much as the sight, I don't know. Um, let's try the pump one more time. I got 10 rounds This left. is our last 10 with the pump. Light primer strike. There it is, guys. There you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. Guys, that really does help the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety and be a safe and responsible gun owner.